welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new episode of the biggest podcast in the world, Chat Runners Podcast, baby. Yes, yes. Woo, woo. I am your favorite cousin at the cookout, Rico Ramirez, a.k.a. Podcast Poppy. <laughs> and if you can't tell by now, I'm country in a bowl of grits, and I love it. <laughs> oh man, I got another one of my personal homies in the building this week, man. Man, this boy just jumped off the jet from LA. Uh, just wrapped up on General Hospital. <laughs> Came back out here to kick it with the little people, man, and show the little people some love out here in Atlanta, man. Man, stop it. I call him Thousand Things Kenny. But you may know him as the one, the only. The very talented Kendrick Cross. There he is. There he is. Hey, what's up, where's, man? Where's the uh the, the cheer button? Hey, you I got hey, I, I really gotta bring my thing <laughs> over here to do all that. I'm right. gonna I'm gonna hook it up, man. But how you feeling though, Kenny? I feel good, man. I feel good, man. Life is amazing. Uh I like to tell people when they ask that, how you doing? I'm like, I'm excellent. Yeah. E even when I'm not, you know? Nah, for real, bro, cause it's like I always say, like the old people say, <clears throat> I can complain, but who gonna listen? Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you got a lot of things to be grateful for, brother. Yeah, yeah, you know, life, health. <laughs> I like to tell people they always uh, equate acting to money. I'm like, bro, I'm not rich. I'm mm. healthy. Mm. You know, and, and health is wealth. So that's my primary focus. Keep this keep this train running mm. so I can do more stuff. Bro, you ain't going nowhere no time soon, man. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Because the people love you, man. Like, every role you play, I always see the outpour of the love for you, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that is something right there, man. That's another thing on the list to be grateful for, man. Oh, absolutely. Because they get you up out of here quick these yeah, days. True, true. And there's a lot of people that want me to win, man. So I really appreciate all the friendships I had over the years and all the new people, you know, uh, especially since doing Country Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, they Come hit... on to the mic a little bit. Well, bring the mic to you. <clears throat> yeah, they hit me up. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. They hit me up more and more saying, you know, we appreciate a good brother. I guess... You know, when you put out good energy, mm. people people sense that and they they feel it. So that's the main thing. Like, bro, you a king. You know, I hear that all the time, and I appreciate that about everybody. Hey, Chat Runners podcast start right now. Yee. Chat Runners. Check, check, hey, it's your favorite cousin at the cookout, Rico Ramil. Check out my brand new book, Get Rich and Praise God, man, on Amazon.com right now. Everything you need to learn how to secure that bag like a boss is right here in this book, man. I went from sleeping in the 1984 Buick Sable to living full time off the gifts I was born with. And I want to show you how to do the same thing, man. Get rich and praise God, man, on Amazon.com right now. Check, 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 check. Man, that's dope, bro. Motivation, you know? Yeah, for real, man. I'm proud to be one of your friends, man. <laughs> and, and I'm just, I just be happy just to see you work, man. Mm. Because when you working, Man, bro, you are uh, like I see a whole nother level of happiness, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, I know people that love what they do, right? But you love what you do, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to be passionate about your art mm. and things that make you happy, you know, friendships, uh, family, um, work. You know, if you're not happy, man, you stressed, you. You just your whole your whole energy is out of whack. So mm. yeah, being on set, man, it's just it, it elevates my happiness. Yeah. Then them checks <laughs> probably uh ain't, ain't 
Probably won't, don't mind adding a little happiness along with it too, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know they 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 keep the bills paid. Yeah, you know? they keep the bills paid. I like to travel, so I, I I like to work, so I can travel. Man, but isn't that a beautiful thing, man? When you can wake up every day and use your God given talent, man, and and it actually provides a comfortable life for you, dog. Facts. Yeah, facts. Yeah, I I I did the corporate job thing for 15 years man and it was literally wearing me down you know what? yeah stressing me out <clears throat> and uh you know i wouldn't get nothing out of it making other people rich mm. so once once i found my calling it took a while once i found this and knew what i wanted to do my whole my whole level of mental clarity everything just just elevated bro and and i, I start to realize that we have power each one of us so if you say you want to do something, you, you just go do it. We have that power to do it. There's nothing holding you back. There's no competition. There's no uh, 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 man holding you down. You know, it's it's you, it's self holding you down. And once I realize that, sky's the limit, bro. Mm. I do what I want, when I want. And if I can't do something, I work on it until I can. Man, that's awesome, man. <clears throat> Go back to that corporate job, man. What kind of corporate job you had, bro? Because people be people look at you probably like the past nine months. They probably actually think you're a lawyer for real if they watch the country <laughs> Wayne skits. Yeah, man. they do. They what kind do, of corporate man. job you had? So I was uh, I was a computer science major in college, and uh, my job was uh, I worked at Blue Cross Blue Shield in Columbia, South Carolina, as a communications engineer. So we did phone support for uh, a software that we would send out to healthcare agencies mm. and they called in for support on it. But it was just you service in the whole United States and they wouldn't hire nobody. It was five people working there. Wow. So we were getting bombarded with calls daily, daily. And then I had, you know, coworkers who weren't the best. Uh, what can I say about them? They just weren't cool people. Right, right. You know, so you got the stress of them going behind your back, you know, telling the boss this and that while they're doing dirt. Wow. Then you got to take all these calls. You know, you got 100 calls waiting with five people. It just became really stressful. And and I'm so glad that I was able to wake up, start saving my acting checks. That's what helped me. Mm. Until I had about three years worth of money saved up, and I was just out. You say three <clears throat> years worth of checks? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. I treated my job as... Uh, my primary source. So I lived only on that, even if I was struggling. My whole acting check, I put the whole thing away. Wow. And I wish I would have invested it, but you know, this this is life lessons. But I, I just put it away in the bank because I was doing like 20% out of each check mm -hmm. to a savings. And finally, I was like, man, what are you doing? Just live off this. You know, it's enough to get you through and uh, deposit the whole acting check. Wow. <clears throat> I can believe that, man, because you got, like, some great discipline. Mm. Like, I got some good discipline, man, <laughs> but you got, like, a whole nother level of discipline, man. Uh, out of everything, you do a thousand things. Like, you literally a thousand things, Kenny, <laughs> but every morning you in that gym, oh, man. man. Yeah. You about to go work out when we leave here. Right, right, right. I mean, like I told you before, I, I, I'm not rich. I'm healthy. Mm. And health is wealth, you know, and, and that's what we so all need to discover that. We we're all chasing the bag. We're chasing this. We're chasing chain. We're chasing cars. But they don't be chasing good health. Right. So you can't spend that money when you sick up in the hospital or, you know, cancer cancer stricken. Oh. Things like that. So I, I, I motivate myself to get to the gym, eat relatively healthy. You know, I, I have my moments. I'm, I'm a cookie fiend. You right. know that. Sweets. Yeah, yeah, you love some sweets. <laughs> <laughs> but for the most part, I'm very conscious. Like a, I, we talked about, like I'm getting a little tickle now. Yeah. I immediately start fasting. You know, I got I got this watermelon right here. Watermelon, ginger. For real? Key limes. Like real watermelon. Oh, yeah. With the seeds and all. So I blend it all up together. There's so many health benefits in plants. Yeah. You know, you know vegan, brother. You know, so I, I, I've done my research on what makes me thrive. Mm. And Jim eating well, treating people right, takes me to another level. Damn, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm gonna have to steal the watermelon. What'd you say you got in a watermelon, kiwi? Key, key lime, 
uh, ginger, a little sprinkle of cinnamon, saline uh, cinnamon, which is the alkaline cinnamon, and some coconut water, bro. I got to steal that from you, dog. That <laughs> sounds like an excellent combination, man. Man, it's delicious. I should have brought you some. I thought about it, but I was like, I, I got all my stuff in storage. Yeah. I'm, about, I'm doing some renovations. Yeah, you should have, no man, because, you know, I've been like, I've been on my health kick lately. I've mm -hmm. been in my bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been in my bag, man. You need to come get one in the gym with me, man. Man, I'm going I'm to mm -hmm. come, man. I'm going to come because I know it's going to be a challenge. Yeah, yeah. Because I know you don't be doing like no little light workouts. <laughs> so I'm down for the challenge, man. I ain't, I ain't never been the one to run away from no challenge. There you man. go. Because you, you go. be getting it in like you getting ready to go to UFC. <laughs> Football practice, I'd be like, man, this man going brazy in here, man. Right, right. That's funny. Hey, man, before I go further, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I just got to highlight some of your credits, man. Do you even know how many film credits you got <laughs> or you lost count? No, I, I know it's in the 90s, I think. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to hit 100 this year. I'm, I'm gonna just going to highlight some of the main ones, man. You know, for my audience or anybody that's been sleeping on the rock that don't really, not really familiar with your work, man. Right. First of all, you got that new monster just came out on Peacock. Praise this. Yep. Starring you, Chloe Bailey, mm -hmm. Quavo, and Drewski. Right. And congratulations on that, brother. I appreciate that, man. Cause that thing doing nothing. Like I can't even go on <laughs> Facebook, IG. Like I, I'm seeing something about this film, man. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna come back to that. I'm gonna come back to praise this, cause okay. I got a lot of questions about that. Okay. So praise this. That's one. Right. You was on the hit show Ambitions. There you go. With Robin Givens. Yes. Essence Atkins. And I am so jealous. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, oh, then Essence Atkins was in though, man. That's my dog. But the Robin Givens, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Robin Givens, if this podcast ever find your ears or your vision, <laughs> just, just know, like, I love, like, I love cooking. You know, uh, we do picnics, Stop. like, anything. Like, Stop. I just want to <laughs> give you all the energy you deserve, Robin. Mm -hmm. Somebody please tag Robin Givens right now, man. Somebody she's, please, please. She's so sweet too, man. Oh yeah, tell yeah, me about she, her, man. Man, just a beautiful, just a beautiful soul, beautiful spirit, super humble. And you know, of course, coming on set, we all had this stigma about Robin. Mm -hmm. And and I'm so glad to hear that it doesn't live up to what what other people say. Mm. She's super sweet, super cool. Hey, Kenny. What like, you heard just, about him? You know, just back in the day stuff. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, it seemed like kind of difficult yeah, to work with. Or yeah, something. Okay. you know, uh, the, the Tyson stuff and all that. Yeah. But, you know, things, life things yeah. that people blow out of proportion probably. Uh, I don't know. I don't I don't propose to to judge someone's path. I, I, I judge how I, you know, I can't I, say Rico's a terrible dude because I know you. Right. And I know, yeah. So same thing with Robin. Beautiful spirit, man. Sweet. I call on. I hit her on a birthday every year, and she replies back like, "Oh, thank you so much." And call such her a right good now on speakerphone. Nah, just nah. to say hey. Nah, I can't do that. Man. I can't. Just do say that. hey, Robin. Just <laughs> your boy Kitty. Just and I got my boy Rico right here too. Hilarious. Bro. I heard all that you just said. It sounded like I might got a chance. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you never know these days, man. You never know. Oh my God, Robin. <clears throat> I, I'm hey, I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a DM you the address to the studio. <laughs> Come on up here to the studio. I need to interview her. I think that'll be good, man. I think that'll be a good one, man. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's dope, <clears throat> man. I'm glad that you you said that you made a very valid point. You can never go by what you heard about somebody, right? Because when you meet them, you would not see none of that, right? And at the end of the day, don't probably just. People that was just probably being a hater. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a strong believer of everybody going to get a different <laughs> version of everybody. Right. Kind of like a relationship. But it's the energy. You know, mm -hmm. if you're putting out that standoffish energy, they're mm -hmm. going to they gonna give it back to you. You know? Yeah. I come in like, you know, I don't... I come in regular, man, you know. Yeah. Even when you first met me, it was no... I don't think you sensed any... Um, 
harm or anything coming out of me that spoke. Nah, no ego. Right. No, you ain't <clears throat> coming on no Hollywood. You didn't come in there. I'm Kendrick Cross. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's what everybody keep telling me to say too, man. Tell them, especially like my boys with, with girls, man. You, no, no. Tell them you're, tell them you're on General Hospital. Yeah. Like, bro, no. I don't want them to like me for, for that. Mm. Like me because of who I am and who I can potentially be. Yeah. But not because, you know. You better than me, because I'll be in the club every weekend. <laughs> no, I was on General Hospital, right? Like, that's my opener. Hilarious. Hey, I'm, hey how you doing, ladies? I'm on General Hospital. Like, I'm pulling up the little clip and everything. Like, Boy, you crazy. Yeah, like, you got to know. You all the way crazy. Because I'm trying to go and get this process rolling, so I'm going to pull out that, that General Hospital card on your ass. You pull out that resume. <laughs> Man, what? <laughs> like, I'm just going to be just casually just... I'm, if I'm at a little lounge, it's gonna have them like play my movie. Like, <laughs> you know, oh, you have them playing praise this at the club. Hey, That's man, funny. just put this up though for me. Right, you know, right. Um, Pause it on my part. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> Is that you? Bro, you in there so heavy, they ain't even gotta pause it though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I play her uh, her uncle. So, you know, I'm a direct influence on on her, the next stage of her life. You know, I'm I'm ne I'm become the father figure. Mm. And, uh, Man, it's a really dope movie. It's just, it's pitch perfect, you know, meets whatever. Yeah. Meets a gospel, but it's really dope. The music, the soundtrack is especially next level. And Chloe, man, incredible actress. Uh, Angelica, the one that played her, her cousin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. She, Monster. She shined in that movie, man. Monster. Like man. the first 10 minutes of the film, man, you know, when we was at the premiere that night. Yep, yep. I was like, I, I leaned over at Mike. I said, this her movie. Right. Right. It really is. Like, <clears throat> like y'all did y'all thing. You did your thing, man. Of course, Mike, man. Shout out to my big brother, Mike Bless. He did his thing, man. Man, man, um, man, the whole cast, man. Country Wayne. Con man, Country Wayne. Shout out to my dog, Country Wayne, man. Uh, I had the, that was the first night I met Big Tank. That did oh, yep. the soundtrack. Yep, yep, me you too. You know, Big Tank also the guy he behind the mastermind behind the music of the Boom Dots and like a million other things, man. So I met Big Tank that night, man. We was there all those just kicking it on at the after party that night, man. Right. And it was a vibe, man. Bro, uh, incredible. Will Packer, man. You know, it's you just shout out to Will Packer, man. You know, he 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 turns hits on everything he does for real hey bro <laughs> i met will packer that night yeah, yeah just casually just met will packer you see how cool and down to earth he is man right? that man is super cool bro <laughs> like mad niggerish mm. in a good way mm. in a good way would that you like right you know what i'm saying he went coming in there like i'm will packer nah kiss my kiss my butt like no like this like the homie yep Yep. Like we end up chilling. I look mm -hmm. over at the DJ booth. Will Packer then took over the DJ booth. Yep, he's a DJ too. That's right. I like, man, this that, <laughs> that night was kind of epic, man. Yeah, the man. food was good. Look, it, anytime you can go to a Will Packer premiere, man, you, you yeah, make sure you <laughs> somehow get in there. Cause Bro, the reception, the reception afterwards is gonna be crazy. I see, man. Like that one like no little cheap <clears throat> little shindig either oh, where nah. you got there, they ran out of food in like 15 minutes. Mm -mm. Like, man, it was literally, man, bro, it was kind of like a feast that came out the Bible or something, bro. <laughs> it was just an ever flowing of food and alcohol and right, right. good music and man. Like you said, it was a vibe, man. It was a lot of good people in that last night. Crystal uh, from uh, Sisters. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, oh, she, yeah, yeah. She's just, cool. Just super cool people, man. And I like to see that. I like I like to see us winning, and I like to see uh, success. Mm. Cause it 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 makes me even more hungrier, you know. Mm. And I know it's coming. Well, no, sorry, I'm already successful. I'm not at the level where I want to be. Right. But I know it's coming. So that's why I'm cool and patient, and you know. And it's coming. Right. Yeah. It's, it's no need to, you know, just overstress about things because it's it's coming. Yeah. And that's <laughs> how you that's how you stay hungry with that mentality, bro. Right. Cause as much as you accomplish, you still talking like you somewhere sleeping on your mama couch somewhere. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, close. I that, wish I was, that, you know. 
Man, I ain't lying, man. Dude, let me stop lying. Cause that first day I moved back in, my mama, I'm gonna be ready to, to get up out of there, boy. Yeah, that's funny. You mama. do not want to like live with no mama, no old school mama from the country, boy. <laughs> like my mama from down there in Alabama, boy. Oh yeah. Like yeah. the first day, you better. Hey, you you got a job yet? Right, right. Man, I don't care if you just lost everything yesterday. Mama <laughs> finna be on your head, boy. As soon as you get up in there, boy. <clears throat> That yeah. kind of why people always when I when we be out, people be like ask me about collard greens. They want to traumatize from eating collard greens. Really, I'm traumatized, bro. Like I'm not, bro. Every day of my childhood, that's all I ever ate was collard greens, cornbread, and chicken. <laughs> so at the age of eight, nine years old, bro, I was looking like a college linebacker. Funny man, man. I'll tell you. So now, I don't, but you can't pay me to eat a collard green, can really? you? Really? Like when I be up here, they be like, "Oh, I love collard green." I'm like, "Man, get it away from me!" Right, right. I can't do it. I, I can't, can't. I can't do the traditional no more with the ham hock in it or the turkey leg or you know what I mean. But I, I, I um, when I am cooking, I love some collard green wraps. Bro. God, damn, that sounds kind of like <laughs> tasty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. A mm. collard green wrap. Oh man, you got to get creative uh, with these diets, man, so that you enjoy uh, what you eating. You mm. know, <laughs> bro. You said, me. bro. <clears throat> so you a fancy vegan? <laughs> this man said I eat a collard green wrap. Oh yeah, absolutely. That is so hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you. And Country Wayne, y'all make being a vegan look so wavy, dog. Right. Like, because normally, you <clears> know, <throat> traditionally, we know vegans, that they, they just people that just don't eat meat and just sit around just eating lettuce and tomatoes all day. Right. But it wasn't until I came around you guys that I seen all the plethora of vegan options. Yep. Yeah. Like, you got me eating vegan burgers, mm. and like, when I leave here, I'm finna go to Cafe Sunflower. That's right, you did say that. They got the vegan nachos. Like, you got, <laughs> boy, you and Wayne got me eating vegan everything. We was in Miami, man. Wayne had ordered, like, some, some vegan Mexican food. Yep. Man, and it was busting, boy. Yep. I ain't even gonna hold you, boy. I was like, what? This vegan? Oh, yeah. I like, my. I know this got meat in it. <laughs> I just know it. Yeah, a lot of stir fries, man. Like it's 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 way more easier than what people think. And like you said, uh, most people think vegan that we just eating lettuce and 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 that's it. Thanksgiving, you can't eat a traditional Thanksgiving, but you can eat so much more, man. You can. They got mac and cheese, taste mm. taste just like the you know yeah. the traditional kind. So, man, it's all what you make it, bro. For real, for real, man. <clears throat> Tell me this, Kenny. Yep. What was the moment in your life, man, that fueled that fire inside of you that made you say, I'm about to do this acting thing? Was it that, was it the, um, was it solely just your job or was it, it was like a combination of things? Mm. So <clears throat> what most people now don't know is that I started out on the poetry scene. So I used to be this spoken word artist. I travel all over the country. I had a band. What? Like we perform, perform, you know? And that's that was the whole thing. My performances looked theatrical. And people would be like, man, it look like you're doing a play up there. I'm like, hmm, okay. And I always wanted to get into acting, just never really knew how to transition into it. Oh. Until an ex of mine uh, met an agent up in Charlotte, North Carolina, and, was, and told him about me. He's like, man, tell him, give me a call. So I, I went and took a few classes. I started booking right out of classes. So that's when I realized I like this. You know, this is something that I could see myself doing. I get to play. I get to story tell. I get to be outside of myself. Because normally Kendrick is a little quiet. Yeah. Used to be really shy. I'm not, not completely shy now. But I'm reserved. And I know that about myself. But when I get on these sets... And he got to be this crazy dude. Mm. I enjoy coming out of my character <clears throat> and being somebody else, you know, and and just knowing that the audience enjoys that, you know, it it just it it pulls it brings life inside of me, knowing that I can be somebody outside of Kendrick. 
Mm. Yeah. So the journey started from poetry, blah, 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 to little baby auditions yeah. while I was still doing poetry all over the city of Columbia, South Carolina. Big shout out to Columbia. Uh, I had, a, I had a, a, a venue on Tuesday nights, stayed packed. Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. That so, gave you all night. Yeah, it was open mic, uh, open mic with Kenny the poet. Ah, you know, that was my, man. <laughs> that was my, uh, you know, that was my name, and and you know the city, the city uh, embraced that, and you know I was all on TV. I would do radio, you know, come do radio, come do a poem on the radio every, you know. Every yeah. So uh, ultimately, that kind of broke my shyness even more, because. You know, being on, being on stage with 300, 400 people. We opened up for Charlie Wilson one time. What? Bo Boys to Men. Yeah, wow. like, and people are like, oh, wow, I've never heard poetry, you know, kind of like that. Because tra traditionally, it's a mic, and you're doing, you know, no music, blah, blah, blah. But we we kind of turned them into songs. And and the music was so so dope. Uh, shout out to Black Tovin. He was my uh, keyboardist. Man, we just created this sound that that it would it would literally take you there in mm -hmm. your mind with the poems, the words, the, the, the music behind my homegirl singing. You know, it was literally this whole different thing that people really loved and really embraced and really, and, and I, I really hate that it's, it's kind of not in me as much yeah. anymore. Cause uh, combination with that and acting, I'd probably be, you know, especially with the social media. Yeah, you will be going crazy Plus right I had a now. poem every night, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that journey, you know, the job was just, I, I knew it was um, a resting place, you know, and I was comfortable. That's that's the main thing, too. Everybody, no, man, don't leave your job. You got a good job. Don't do that. What you going to do? Act? You know, you always got these little people murmuring and, and oh. telling you that the choices you make to enhance your life are bad ones. But one thing about me, I never listen to people. I, I hear them but I don't listen to them. You you can't make me do something that I already know in my mind is going to work for me. Mm. <clears throat> so, yeah, once I transitioned from there, got out of that job, moved to Atlanta. I mean, it just, you know, the, the grind was tough, you know, especially when money ran out. You know, I had to Uber. I had to, I had a self-tape service where I would record people. I had to do, I had to hustle. Yo. And at the same time, still do these auditions. And, you know, you got to put your heart into it and get told no a bunch of times. And I still get told no. And it's it's, it's cool. I enjoy hearing no. Because I know that something else greater is coming. Mm. Yeah. Man, amen to that, dog. And, I, and I'm with you all the way. Because I done had, like, plenty moments. See, me, I spent my whole life rolling the dice. Mm -hmm. Betting on myself. Yep. From the beginning. And they always and nobody in my family, you know, like I ain't disrespecting nobody in my family, you know, but nobody is I'm the only creative in my family. Right. So for me to come from a flock of people that just only believe you only can survive if you work in a nine to five, mm -hmm. for me to be that person still, I'd be like, nah, I'm gonna put my happiness and my passion before a paycheck. Right. Because I rather <clears throat> I rather struggle chasing my dreams, yep. then be comfortable and miserable. Yep, yep. And I was miserable every day, especially them last two years. I I think I was borderline depressed, man. So, and I don't get like that. You know, I, I have moments where I'm down, but my mentality is so strong, man. I, I just bring myself out of it. Mm. You know, I start, you know, because that's what we can do. We choose our choices in life is what makes us. And I choose to be happy. I got people in my family who choose to be, you know, angry and blah, blah, blah. And that's fine. But this is why your life is the way it is. Mm. Just change it. Because you can. You know? Damn, boy. You coming in here dropping some gems today, <laughs> man. Hey, I'm just letting you know how I how I move and, and my mentality about things. And, and people overstress. Yeah. You know, when in reality, you, you control that. You know, nah, facts, <clears throat> facts. Have you ever had a Mike Jones moment? Mike Jones, Mike Jones. You know, Mike Jones had to, he was the rapper. He had that song back then. Mike they Jones, didn't want me. Mike now Jones. I'm hot. They all on me. Oh uh, nah, nah. I think um, throughout my whole career, 
people have treat, treated me relatively the same. You know, there's no, ha ah, or, you know, ah, oh, man, you know, he's the, I think just because of the way I always carried myself, I always made friends. Right. I always, uh, even, I came out the gym the other day, no lie. I seen a dude, I said, what up, King? He said, what up, man? He said, bro, keep that energy. I like that. You know, people recognize it and they feel it. Those are two words, you know? <clears throat> so when you putting it out, it just attracts that same type of people to mm. you. And and next thing you know, like, you know, me and him could have talked. We probably could end up being best friends. Right. But that's how it starts. Nah, fast. Right. Fast. So you ain't got no women from back in the day that try to swerve you back and curve you back in the days. And now they like, hey, what's up, Kenny? Nah, man. Nah. I, I mean, saw you on Praise This. <laughs> I saw it five times. Nah, man. Nah. Uh, yeah, I think you got one because you started laughing. <laughs> it's girlfriend. Because you funny. That's why I saw that. <laughs> you, you, you funny. Man, how you end up uh, <laughs> filming in General Hospital, dog? Because that's major, man. Because General Hospital probably only had like <coughs> five black people in the past 30 years to... To be on that show, man. <laughs> nah, they got a lot. You of part of the elite now, brother. That's funny. They they got a lot of blacks, man. No, uh, it happened uh, circumstance. Uh, I got a new manager. Okay. In L.A. Because I was just telling a friend of mine who lives in L.A. I, you know, I've never worked in L.A. all these years. All my credits. Sorry, <clears throat> allergies. I never worked in L.A. So I got this manager, and one of the first auditions they sent me was General. Mm. And uh. It was a, a a a detective role, not a very big role, but again, that's the other thing about me, bro. <clears throat> and I try to tell people this: I go I go after everything. Mm. Like, I, no. I have friends who won't do a certain thing, right? Right. I'm like, bro, you still getting you getting paid, you getting SAC credit, you getting health insurance for a couple of hours of work. Mm. No, I don't. You're beneath that, Kenny. No, you don't so, tell me what I'm beneath. Somebody was trying to talk you out <clears throat> of going to film General Hospital. No, nah, not General, but the level of the role. Okay. It was, a, it was okay. an incredibly small role. Okay. But it said potential recurring. You know, mm. he had a name, which is good. It wasn't like Detective Number One. Yeah. And it's General Hospital. So, you know, and it wasn't, wasn't but a couple of lines in the audition, but, you know, I've learned over the years to get creative in my auditions. And I think that's why I'm successful. And I let it go. You know, you can't carry outside things in. You can't carry, oh, I, I hope they like me. You can't carry, uh, 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 is my hair not right? Yeah. No, you just let all that go and be a human. Talk like you and I talk, it's a good audition. Mm. So I went and did my thing, and, and man, like the next week, I'm like, hey, you got it. They they they, they want you. Yeah. you know? And you, didn't, you don't know what to expect because it's been running so long. And they're so polished over there on set. You know, I was a little nervous. <clears throat> and they do really quick takes. They told me once, gave me some notes. The next one we shot it, they was like, all right, thank you. Gone. Wow. But Twitter blew up. Like, who's the new guy? Match him with this. Da 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 da. Because uh, apparently, General Hospital has a huge following on Twitter. And uh, my old writer from Ambitions, Jamie, he writes for Days of Our Lives. Oh. So when when it when it came out, and he knew about it because I called him, he, and he uh, he blasted on Twitter too. That's my boy from Ambitions, Titus Hughes. Da 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 da. So everybody, all all the people he write for, the the soap bloggers, they all just jumped on it. And I think General General saw that, so I ended up getting six more episodes. Wow. <clears throat> And right now, I think there's a writer's block coming, so they haven't called me. But they they mentioned when I booked it, oh, he'll be here all the time. I'll take that. Wow. You know? And that's good, man, when you just <clears throat> so, when you get that reputation of being dependable. Right. And professional. Right. Right. One thing about you, you're going to be on time for everything. <laughs> you're going to be early at that. <laughs> like... <clears throat> You gonna be weighing on the people that's supposed to be there first. <laughs> like you gonna be weighing on the cameraman to get there. That's like, bro, funny. you be on it, man. Like punctuality is like, man, your superpower, man. Yeah, I, I just don't ever want to hold things up. Mm. You know, I've been late before, and they got super mad. And I was like, bro, it's traffic. Right. 
there's nothing I can do about that. But after that, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make sure I'll be where I'm supposed to be on time if I can help it because I don't want to be the hold up. Right. <clears throat> nah, I feel you on that, man. Because you, cause you got like the average person, man, with your film and television credits, they going to always be late because they're like, I'm the star. Yeah, yeah. They need to be waiting on me. I've seen that too. Two, three hours late. You know what I'm saying? So for you to still, you know, have that humility and still inside you, brother, man, that says a lot about your character. I appreciate that. As a man <clears throat> and as a as a professional actor, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Tell me how you end up coming about, you know, <clears throat> being a part of the Country Wayne series, man. Ah, my boy, Mike Bless. You know, me and Mike met at uh another premiere and uh he he immediately came up to me he's like man you were in acrimony wasn't you like bro you was the best actor in acrimony i was like what he said yeah nah, i really watched you and da 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 so we made a connection then then i started seeing him in the gym okay and we would just talk we would talk he would ask me questions about acting and you know this was when he was really getting on and getting into it <clears throat> and uh i gave him uh sarah mornell I told him he needs to go train with her. You the one put him on ceremony? <clears throat> yep. Wow. <clears throat> and uh, we just been cool ever since. That's another one, man. When you got that right energy, because Mike, you know, Mike is Mike. Right. You know, he puts out, you know, big everything. Right. And people follow him and love it. But that joke is super humble, man. And I appreciate that about him. Me and him would, you know, he would call, bro, meet me at the gym. I'm there, you know. And uh, he kept saying, man, I'm on Country Wayne, man. I'm, I'm going to get you in. I'm going to get you in. I'm going to get you I said, yeah, cool, Mike. Um, he said, I, I, I tried, but the group don't want new people right now. or Something like that. He yeah. told me that. And then when he got his own storyline, he started saying, bro, I think I got something for you. Mm. You know, uh, the lawyer, you're going to take over the office. Da, da, da. And he meant that. And, you know, and I appreciate Mike eternally for sticking to his word, you know, mm. a lot because he didn't have to. Right. <clears throat> yeah and then uh you know we he liked someone because you know you watch it me and him go right it's not a whole lot of you know you t tell me again mike because he'd be saying a lot yeah 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 but yeah. after that boom we we just go Out of and, and it's not a whole lot of instruction that he has to do for me uh being a seasoned actor and we just go, man. And and I think people love Kendrick Cross, the lawyer. Yeah. So far, you know, uh, until, yeah. they get, until they get tired of me, like all things. But yeah, I appreciate Mike a, a lot, man. And big shout out to Country Wayne. Thanks for having me, bro. Um, you know, I follow this dude and what he's done with his life is something definitely worth following in his footsteps, you know, and hopefully help, you know, help me. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're listening, Wayne, you know. <laughs> Put your boy on. Put your boy on. Well, what did you have any reservations on coming to do a skits at, in the beginning? Like, cause you know a lot of people, like a seasoned actor that's been doing film and television, they would have looked at skits as if it was like had a stain on it. You know, I think a skit like theirs, you see the numbers, so obviously it's a market for it, right? Mm. I don't see it as a stain because it's actually helping my improv game. It's 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 helping me, you know, be quick with the thinking. And, you know, and they listen to some of my ideas. You know, Mike, da da da, yo, what if what if Kendrick is this? Right. Mike's like, oh, that's a good idea. Let's let's try that. So and and then the recognition that you get from it. You know, my, all my numbers have shot up on social media. Um, and you're dealing with two guys, uh, Country Wayne and Mike, that are super successful at this. So why not join the team? Mm. Why not follow these guys' success uh, and 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 create your own? Man, that, hey, I love that, <clears throat> man. Yeah. man. They definitely love party animal, Kenny. <laughs> yeah. They love party Kendrick Kenny right, skits. Right, right, right. Man, man, you sold out in the Miami skits, man. <laughs> Like, dog, for me, I was there, I was, you know, I filmed everything that right. we, we stayed in Miami. Well, how long was in Miami? Was it like three, four days? Yeah, yeah. Man, Like bro. a Sunday to Wednesday. I think. Yeah, <clears throat> bro. We I we probably laughed 
every single day all day man bro that was so much fun man so much fun and again that's that leads back to me jumping out of out of my character Mm. you know i don't act like that Nah. but it was a it was a chance and a moment to say oh let me be wild for a minute right and see what they think and they you know they love it they loved it man but you were wild and (laughs) not like nick cannon man (laughs) like man from like them, like them was some classic skits, man. From meeting the 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 dude's wife <laughs> to the club. The club was crazy. Oh right? my god! The club. Oh, in the uh, the hotel room the next day. <laughs> oh my god, bro! Like that was probably my favorite one. The club was crazy, but the next day. That was probably my favorite one. Yeah, I kept messing up the takes on that because I just kept on laughing, man. Bro. I could not even. Oh my god, man! Bro, I'm... you always bust out laughing. It is so funny. Because <laughs> even the other day, you remember, bro? I was, I was like, Rico, that was like my take. That was the one, like, man. I couldn't help it. <laughs> hey, man, people out there, y'all probably don't know how much I hold up production <laughs> from laughing at these guys, man. <laughs> like. I didn't mess up a lot of good skits <laughs> from laughing. <laughs> but it's all good though. You know, we recover and then the one after be even better. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But you know, it's funny is funny. Yeah, it's <laughs> funny, dog. It's funny. The most recently one, man, where really I've been loving the dynamic between you and the tip of uh Miles That's right. and Dunn. That's right, that's right. Oh my God! <clears throat> Both yeah. good actors too. Uh, me and Detective Miles played on Ambitions together, and me and Don have known each other man, fifteen years, um, helping each other with auditions, but just being cool, you know, yeah. just cool people. And she's she's a delight to work with. So I appreciate Mike bringing them in. You know, I see what he's doing. You know, and I, I, yeah, he's bringing in some season. Some seasoning. Oh yeah, man. <clears throat> Mike gonna bring in like some heat. Now he ain't just gonna bring in like anybody right, right. off the street. Like he gonna really bring in some real thoroughbred actors, <laughs> man. Like for real, man. I'ma tell you what made that <clears throat> super relatable. The skit you and Dunn did after after Johans came to the door in his robe when what? he was at at done how what made that relatable yeah the conversation y'all had when you said hey i've been opening up to you i told you about my wife mm-hmm. whoop, whoop, whoop. and she was like well i didn't even know we was supposed to be dating right we never had that conversation right like women like oh man when they get in their bag they gonna tell you about yourself now right, right. Right. So that conversation was so relatable, man. Yeah. And like, I commend y'all for that, man, because y'all make it look so easy and effortless, man. Right. right. You know, it's life experiences, you know. Me and Don's probably went through some things, you know, with guys, and I've definitely went through them with girls. So it's that, that was relatable to me. I've had a girl say that, you know. Oh, I didn't know. What do you mean? You know, you've been crying all this time that you want a good man. You got one, mm. but underneath you still doing your thing, right? And then you try to throw it on me. You try to victimize me into saying, "Well, we didn't, we didn't have a conversation." I shouldn't have to tell you if if we're into each other. I I, sh- I shouldn't have to. Some things, some things definitely need to be said, but some things are known and in, and in, inside, and there's a connection that it, that we all have. And if you think we if we think we have it. Boom, it works. Mm. If not, just say something. And right. that's why I was telling Don in the skit. In case. <clears throat> yeah, bro, you 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 messing with this guy, just say that. Right. Don't don't put it like I'm the one, but yet you still still getting down on the other end. Like it's fine if that's what you want to do, but just say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what needs to be discussed. Not necessarily uh I want to date you exclusively. Like we're getting to know each other. Like, I don't know yet if that's what I want. Right. You don't know really. And that's the problem with these people. They do it too fast. Several months down the line, when you start to really get to know someone, you don't like them, you know, because you didn't take time. Right now, we're getting to know each other. I'm spilling my heart out to you. This is the skit, everybody. It's not real life. 
Yeah, he ain't talking about the skit. He ain't talking about like the real. <laughs> it sounded like he kind of triggered over. Right. <laughs> nah. nah, nah. I mean, it happens, bro. And you know, uh, just be open about everything. Mm. Would you <clears throat> Would you do a public relationship with a celebrity? Nah, man. I'm not into all that. Uh, you know, some things, sure. You know, but this everyday look at us, look at me. Yeah, that's just not me. So I'm, I'm more private anyway. So if if you dating Megan Good and she want to go live every other day, you what you gonna say Megan Good? You better stop that. No, nah, I probably have that to. That goes against me. who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I probably have to for Megan Good, man. That's you know that's one that's one that I've always. <laughs> hey, bro, you folded on the first name. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, you chose the right one. <laughs> I don't know. I had to. I had to come with one. Like, I went. I wasn't gonna throw like no little like nah, nah, nah. Yeah. I had to come with the creme de la creme. Right, right, right. Nah, she's a beautiful woman, man. Talented. All of that plays <clears throat> in what I like in a, in a woman, man. You just live your life and do it well, mm. and that's attractive. You know. And she's you know making good is making good, bro. Like Have you, you, said. you ever dated a celebrity? No. When I say celebrity, I, 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 I mean as in what society deem a person as. Right. Because, you know, us being in the industry, we don't look at people as celebrities. Right. We look at them like right, they are peers. Right. But, I mean, like, what society <clears throat> labels them as when I say the celebrity? No, no. I haven't, um, I haven't dated a celebrity. I've dated women who, you know, had celebrity qu- Features. Yeah. <laughs> We're throwing that thing back like slip now. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. I was doing so good. I was being mature for a minute, though. Right, right, right. But I, I just don't, hey, man, y'all forgive me, man. This is what happens when you like, when you have, you grow up fast mm-hmm. and don't really have a childhood. <laughs> so now you get, you become an adult and you get a lot, lot of freedom and you get to do things you want. Now you just a immature grown ass dude. Right. Man. So y'all forgive me, man. Right, right. So you, no public relationships. For nah, me, nah. Unless it's making good. Not right now, you know? Yeah, unless it's making good. Unless it's making good. <laughs> What what give me two more celebrities you'll risk it all for? Oh man, who? You know, bro, you put me on the spot. Hey it's, man, this is what we do here, man. It's so many of them. We're gonna put you on the spot at check running. We're gonna get we gonna, and when I say we, I'm talking about me. Right. I'm right. gonna get in your business and right. I'm gonna put you on the spot. Yeah, I I don't really know, bro. I just like I like beautiful I like beautiful women. Mm. Um whether they're whether they're a celebrity in the eyes of the world or not, I I don't know. I just like that doesn't matter to me. Right. So I don't lust after their status. I feel that, Kenny. Mm-hmm. I feel that. But we always got that one or two. <clears throat> like, damn, man. Right. We watching the movie, and we like, damn. Right. I wonder what's good. <laughs> I always wanted to, man. I'm up here on the air. Don't you hate when somebody that you don't even talk to call call you and <laughs> then she talking about call me when you get a chance. No, I don't call you, man. That's funny. Like it's it. It's it my um my um AT and T service now, man. Hey, you gotta block go and block that number. Yeah, she'll, yeah, it's time. She'll get the hint. Yeah, go <laughs> ahead and promote her to block status. Yeah, yeah. Why She's not? being promoted right here on Check Runners. <laughs> I ain't even gonna say no names. That's you funny. just earned your promotion, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what up, George Fleming? Hey it's my brother. What uh what was the last time you had to block somebody, Kenny? Um Bro, I don't, I don't really block people, man. Like, you ain't never had to block nobody. Nah, like no you know, crazy chick or nothing. Nah, uh, well maybe once, yeah, yeah, that's uh, right, that's right. Come back on in, now, back in my porch. Come on, days. media training. Nah, I had a, she was, she was borderline stalker, man. Not borderline. She, she became actually a, a really bad stalker. It called me like a hundred times one night, and I said, bro, you scaring me. I just, I just want, I just gotta see you, da da da. So ultimately, yeah, I, I had to cross that off the line. <clears throat> What else happened? 
Yo, you leaving some details out. No, man. she did no. more. She ain't know pop up, man. No, no, no. She didn't know where I live. Come on, man. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to get a good story out of him, y'all. He, mm. He's so media trained, man. That's how you know he a veteran. I don't have dirt, man. Man, you know? give me some clip, babe, right now, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have dirt, man. You know, I I haven't had any really bad relationships. You know, mm. dude, I haven't had, uh, you know, a couple of people stop talking to me, but why? I don't know. I don't know. Me and one of my boys just stopped. He just stopped talking to me. You know, we got into we had a disagreement and that was his choice to say, forget our friendship. And, you know, we just stopped. It, it just happens. I'm not mad at him. He's still my brother. But, you know, now we now we move on to the next. That means that relationship wasn't supposed to work. Right. Well, this is like a long term <laughs> friend, like since childhood. Like No, not childhood, but it, it had been several years. It had been at least uh, eight or nine years. A couple of girls, you know, they they just stopped talking. I, you know, you just, you gotta wonder what's inside of people that makes them say, our friendship never existed. I'm done, you know, I'm, I'll never talk to you again. Yeah. Yet we were friends. I did things for you. <clears throat> I held you down. But yet one little thing that you don't like personally drives you to say, I'm done. Mm. I've only had that a few times, thank goodness. You know, I, I try not to rub people the wrong way. It happens, though. You know what I mean? Right. Um. So, yeah, I, I don't block them. I still don't block them. They call, I answer. Right. Really? I Because it's not me with the issue. Mm, it's, it's them. Yep. It's obviously you. <clears throat> so, good luck, you know? You ever let somebody borrow some money, and then you seen them out spending money? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What they were buying? Got some shoes or something. Nah, I just, <laughs> I just, I just see them uh, uh, flossing. Mm. And like in Turks and Caicos. <laughs> and and then you call and they don't answer. Mm. So you chalk that up as an L. Well, <clears> that's <throat> the but, worst. But luckily, I don't, I don't lend people a lot of money. You know, I, I don't. And and most times, if someone needs it and I got it, I give it to you. Right. You don't have to worry about giving back when it comes to borrowing money. Nah. We don't. I I ain't got money for that. Cause, right. Because I know I I know I ain't gonna get it back. Yes. It, <clears throat> it like sometimes it can be somebody you know, but sometimes they just have that. I know I'm not about to get this money back. Energy. Right. It's like they always like they move their mouth a certain type of way, <laughs> and it's like I don't know. Like they shoulders get the shrug and a certain type of shrug. Right. I like. Oh, I ain't gonna get that money back. Nah. Um. And you know it generally. Like, you 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 go you go for their word, like bro, I'm really down on my luck, blah blah blah, mm. and they they pull at your heartstrings. Yeah. But ultimately, you know, like man, I ain't gonna get that money back. Oh, they be hitting you with the long <clears throat> story. Right. Oh yeah. They yeah. Probably. It's always a a woe is me <laughs> downtrodden, and sometimes it's warranted. You know what I mean? Some yeah. some people really be hurting, but they don't they don't have an intention on paying you back, or the, or they just can't. So right. I don't I don't let people borrow a lot of money. You know, I give you a hundred if I got it. Yeah. Depending on your situation. You know, I need gas. You, you could tell. Some people need things that, man, can I just get 20 bucks for gas? Yeah. You understand that they need that. Right, right. But when they start throwing them numbers up for, you know, man, my child support. Nah, 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 nah. Like, bro, that's that's your that's your issue. Right, right. You created that. Damn, you gonna let a man go to jail for child support? Nah, it ain't me. It ain't me that's letting him go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's what his his actions, you know? Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I love a good story so good, <laughs> I already got to know in my brain. But if your story is just so compelling, <laughs> oh my God, please continue. Right, 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 right. It's still gonna be a no. Right. Right. Oh my God! Please finish. Carry on, right. sir. You know when it comes to money, man, people get creative. They half the time it might not even be true, but they tell them the best story they can to get that to pull at your strings, man. Right, man. Sometimes, one time, man, somebody told me a story so good, man, my <laughs> no end up turning to a yes. I, I paid for the story. I was like, hey, you ain't got to pay me back. <laughs> that story was so good, right, and so believable. I was like, hey. You got it. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. You got it, man. 
Kenny, bro, if you wasn't if you wasn't acting and being, you know, so fruitful in your acting career, what you think you'll be doing right now? I think right now, because I'm so into health, mm. I would probably be like a, a trainer, nutritionist type, you know? Mm. And trying to steer people away from, you know, eating meat. It's not it's not healthy, it's not it's not good for you. So and I think the Western diet is what's killing a lot of our people so um you said the western yeah you know the, the things things that are allowed in the u.s okay okay aren't allowed in europe and, and these other places you know they just all the added ingredients and everything and you wonder why cancers are up high blood pressures up yeah especially for melanated people man we're not supposed to be eating all that stuff Damn. we come we come from a land rich in sunlight soil fruit Veggies, you know what I mean? Like it was there for us. You walk out, you walk out of your hut, and you got a fruit tree right there. You know what I mean? Like, but but we, during our transition here, we were forced to eat things that wasn't compatible with our bodies. That's why blacks have higher hypertension. Did you say transition here? Yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Hey, bro, <clears throat> that was a that's probably the most flyest way I ever heard somebody say slave ship. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we were already here too, but you know, but that's a whole nother subject. But hey, bro, you good. <laughs> you need to be an actor. <laughs> this man says when we transition here, mm. come on, transitions. That's funny. That's man, funny. we need to do a show called Transitions. Yeah, man, I like it. But it's all about the slave trade, though. I like it. Yeah, I we like gotta it. go pitch that in Hollywood. Yeah, man. Just got just walk up in a random Starbucks. You know, <laughs> LA, everybody just in Starbucks writing right. scripts and shit. Right, right, like, right. <laughs> right. I got one for you. <laughs> hey, Transition. Our story need to be told, brother. Nah, facts, 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 facts. But yeah, I would probably be that, a nutritionist. And I'm still working on that. Like like I said, I want to, um, you know, when everything gets done at the house, I want to start doing more alkaline vegan cooking mm. and just show people that it's possible to do this without, without killing an animal, mm. without taking a life, without another sentient being that, cries right you know you see cows crying man and they don't they know they're going to the slaughter they fight yeah who wants to eat that like but again i, I understand i understand we grew up on it yeah yeah my yeah. journey took me another way but i'm hoping that over time people can see that it can be done without harming another creature man i love that man <clears throat> i'm like on my next cheeseburger bro <laughs> I ain't even gonna enjoy it as much as I usually will enjoy it, man. My next ten piece wing. Come on, man, stop. I'm gonna dedicate that to all the fallen soldiers in the slaughterhouse, man. <laughs> stop. With man. that blue cheese, man. Mm -mm. Hey, bro. They got vegan blue cheese. I'm still tripping out transition though. <laughs> like, That'd be a dope show. Like, for real, for real. Transition. <clears throat> hey, man. Y'all better see me. I'm going to be mad as hell, man. Somebody pop that out this time next year. Right, right. I want to, can I use this this episode as uh, evidence? Absolutely. We got it. We got a timestamp. Yeah, man. Y'all better start playing with me, man. Because <laughs> this going up on YouTube. And yeah. I'm going to be like, hey, just look at this right here. I said transition. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Right. This man super media trained. This man said transition, man. Nah, bro. I, it, interviews actually scare me, man. I uh, uh You but, don't do many interviews. No, I don't. I, they literally scared. They people call all the time and I'm like, "No." But I think that's the shy thing. I think I'm I need to do more. And it helps me to understand just talk to people. Just have a conversation like you and I. Right. Cuz you and I can talk out we talked outside in yeah. the parking lot. You know, it's so it's the same thing on the interview, but sometimes they be they be trying to ask you stuff that you know it's not relevant or and and it makes you it makes me freeze. Yeah. What what do I say? Yeah. See, I I really like when people come in here and drop gems, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if along the way of me seeking those gems for my audience, they come out and tell me some messy, right? That might make some go viral. Hey, do your thing. I'm <laughs> not. I'm not going to stop you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> like, do your thing. But, nah, this is not the platform for that, man. This is the place I want people to just come and express themselves, man, and, you know, and shine a light on their intelligence and their brand. And right. Just show people how we both can push this culture forward 
without holding each other back, man. Yep. So yep, it's enough room for everybody. It's man. enough room for everybody, man. Before we get up out of here, Kenny, mm-hmm. got like one or two more questions for you. I got. I always like to ask my actor friends this, man. <clears throat> and by the way, big salute to everybody listening over there on Spotify, Anchor, Apple Podcasts. Google Podcast, uh, it's like three more I forgot, but hey, wherever you listen to us at, big salute to y'all. Big salute to everybody watching over there on YouTube, man. Like, it's a vibe. We just hit 10,000 subscribers, man. Yeah. Almost uh, headed to that 20,000, man. I, yeah. And I couldn't get there without y'all, <laughs> man. So, big salute to y'all. Big salute to everybody watching on Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff, man. So, um, bro, nah. you motivate me. Like, you know, my YouTube is probably at a hundred people, right? You know, but you, we through our conversations, you like, bro, YouTube is is where you need to be at. Facebook, all of it, really, and treat it like a job, man, and just start posting. You know, people people want to know about you, and they want, they want to see you successful. So, yeah, uh, hopefully one day I can be on here and I can come back when I hit ten thousand. Oh yeah, yeah, man, you <laughs> hit it real quick, man, because. Them, uh, them, like, where your main audience going to be at. The, your, the audience that rock with you for real going to be over there on YouTube right. and Facebook when it comes to, you know, the visual content. Right. You know, as a podcast, you know, I got plenty of more other sources, you know, you know like, when it comes to, like, the audio right. part of this thing. Right. But other than that, the visual, man, the Facebook and the YouTube. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, bro. I didn't really start to understand Facebook more until I got Ryan Wayne. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like Wayne, like man, Wayne and Mike, bro, they probably like the two smartest people I know in the world. Right. So it's like these people, you ain't really got to do too much talking around. Right. Right. Cause they gonna be. It's like, bro, just come in class and just chill. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So and learn something. And learn something. You gonna learn something every day mm-hmm. from these guys, man. So like, yeah, I appreciate bro forever that because they're like, I wasn't even really caring about Facebook like that, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even <laughs> realize I could build an audience on Facebook right. like that, right? You know I didn't what I'm either. Saying? I didn't either. So you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I just, you know, I appreciate having people like that in my life. That's a blessing to me. And all of us just be a blessing to each other, man. I like that. And all of us are black kings. Yep. yep. You know, all of us want to see each other win, yep. man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I want you to come <laughs> on here because I'm like, man, Kenny don't really do interviews <laughs> like that. Yeah, I don't. And I want you, the people that love you, that watch you every single day on Facebook, I want them to know the real. Kenny. I appreciate that, bro. I really know what I mean? I really do. Kenzie, tell me this. <clears throat> if you could could play a role in three classic films, what would they have been and oh, why? Man. I got to make you think just a yeah, little bit. Yeah, man. Come on. Just a little bit, man. Just uh, a little bit. And it's crazy because I watch movies all the time. I should know things right off. Um... I want to say, uh, uh, I love action films. You you ever seen The Fifth, El- Fifth Element? Oh, yeah, Bruce Willis <laughs> and Chris Tucker. Okay. Being on a show like that, man, would be ideal for me, man. Okay. You know, of course, a Marvel uh, having some powers or something would be would be super dope. And then um, one of those movies where you 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 triumphant, uh, like a like a woman king or mm. a uh, a brave heart, but a yeah. black, but a black version. Because <clears throat> oh, I'm sure man. we have those stories too. Oh yeah, definitely. Or um, the Patriot. I mean, there's so many good actors that I that I follow uh, that have taught me so much without them even knowing it. You know, Denzel, Tom Hanks. You know, I watch these guys and learn. You know, even when I'm on set with them, I haven't been on set with those two yet. But when it, when I'm on set with a big time actor, I'll just sit and watch him and, mm. I, and I observe and I see how natural and easy and fluid. They do it where it's not even looking like they acting. I'm like, oh, yeah. And and the crowd and the people behind the camera are like, oh my gosh, that was so good. I'm like, he really didn't do anything. Right. But he's being natural and being a human. Because a lot of times, uh, uh, the acting uh, casting director told me he said ninety percent of actors 
uh, especially audition actors, they overact. So that taught me at that point to just be subtle. Just have a conversation, man. Mm. Just talk. Just blink like you normally blink. Frown when you're supposed to frown. Smile when you, right. you know, it's just natural things that you do. And then now when I do it on screen, people see it and they're like, oh, man, he's he's dope. I don't think that. But obviously, you know, I, I book a lot and a lot of people enjoy uh, the, the shows that I'm in that I have to realize that, that I am dope. Right. And, and that, you know, success is success is my dopeness mm. or oh, my dopeness is my success. One or the other. But yeah. So so those three did I name three fifth element. It's so many, man. Yeah, you know, you went on, you said, you said a lot. You said a lot of dope <laughs> films, too, though. You know, I ain't even gonna hold you. I'm familiar with the Patriot. That's the Mel Gibson joint, right? Yep, but yep. I, I never saw it. He had the ponytail, right? Yep. I remember it, like, you know, growing up, but right. I never saw it. But right. I can see, like, we do need more stories like The Woman King. Right. You know what I'm saying? And bitch, shout out to Viola Davis, man. Oh, like, man. she bodied that role, she, man. She bodies every role. She's like one of my favorite actors. Um, Yeah, because she she just knocks it down on everything and makes it look effortless. Right. <clears throat> and she wants us to win, too. You know, I hear some of her conversations. We 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 struggle, you know? we We've struggled over the years. We've... We've persevered from so much strain and strife and just pure hatred. Man, we some amazing people, bro. Because we overcome some of us more than others. Mm. But, I mean, uh, it's in us, you know? I am God. And I don't want you to take that as a hypocrisy or whatever towards any, any certain religion, but it's internal. My relationship with God is internal because I am he. I am God. So knowing that, I have power. Right. You know, I can do anything, you know, that anybody else can do. And that makes me uh, know flat out, oh, if this person if this person can do it, why can't I? Right. And I think that just it changed my mentality with auditioning, with acting, with, with life choices that, that I elevate differently now. Mm. Yeah. Man, somebody said some dope, man. It said handpicked for greatness. What's up, Demetria? Ah, I appreciate like that. that, D. I like that statement. I like yeah. that statement. Hey, bro, and you right, man. <clears throat> like, we got that power inside of us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just like the book of Ephesians say, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above and beyond all the things you can ask for according to the power that worketh in us. Mm. Telling he man, he telling you we got that power in us. It's in us. We just gotta know how to unlock it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or and choose to unlock it. Mm. Like some people choose to stay down mm. all the time. I know, I know several. I'm like, bro, it's okay. Like, just choose something different. Right. Because we have that power too. Right. I can choose to go out of here and go home, or I can choose to go to the gym. I'm I'm going to I'm going to get a good workout in. Hopefully, I make some relationships during that process. Yeah. I know I will make relationships during that process because that's just who I am. And I choose to go eat a 10-piece when I leave here. <laughs> but like I said, now when I eat my 10-piece and my burgers, I'm going to give a salute to all the fallen souls, oh, man. Oh, man, stop. All the souls. Stop. <laughs> I could not end on a mature note, man. I tried, <laughs> y'all. I tried, y'all. Hey, man, I appreciate you for coming out here kicking with your boy, man. Man, my pleasure, bro. And, and thank you for having me. And big shout out to you for your 10,000 subscribers, man. I know thank that you. I know that took some work. And you're good. You're good at what you do. <laughs> thank you, man. I enjoy this. Thank you. Thank you, man. See, that feel good <laughs> when the homies tell me I'm good at what I do, oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're a natural. Come on, you're man. You're natural. I, I love it, man. I love it, man. Because the goal, man, we're going for that, that 100,000 this year, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the ultimate goal we. It's that road to that million. <clears throat> yep. But you know, I gotta, uh, I gotta take the, I'm gonna take these stepping stones and these small victories on the way. Right. You know, because I'm a strong believer in, you don't have to wait to celebrate the war when you can enjoy the battles. I like that. I like that. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And that was out the dome. Too. Right, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so he said, do more interviews, Kenny. 
I, I will. That's oh, that's that's Teresa Pierre. Her her husband's uh, George Pierre, big time casting director. I love them. I love you, Teresa. I appreciate you so much. You know that. Great yeah. interview. She's a great interview. Thank you, Miss Teresa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching too, Miss Teresa. Oh man. Hey man, you wanna let them know where they can find you at, Kenny? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh Instagram and YouTube. I am I am Kendrick Cross. Real simple. At I am Kendrick Cross. I think Facebook is just Kendrick Cross. And okay. Twitter is Kenny the Poet still. Kenny the Poet. Man. <clears throat> I gotta hear some of them poets one some of them poems one day, man. You know, I got I got CDs, man. I'm gonna bring you one. So yeah, let I'm you check. A, yeah. Nah, I wanna hear one live. I wanna bring oh. my keyboard and all right, all right. tell my partner Brian hit good time and we just gonna break out in a, a, a random jam session. Like we're gonna be at Applebee's and just gonna start a <laughs> poetry night. It, the Applebee's, man. That's hey, crazy. man. Thanks, Corey. We, Thanks, we Rock. Gone. But guess what? Always remember when you do what you do, do it like you're doing it for TV. And we go. Yeah, bitch. Yee. Hey. <laughs> Peace.